First of all, before going into details of our algorithm, let us first understand what really is fingerprinting matching. You know, every person has the distinct attributes which can be used for identification. These include iris, retina, voice, fingerprint and many more. You know, during enrollment process, fingerprint biometric characteristics are acquired using different sensors and features are extracted to make template. Then during verification, algorithm captures input and make trial templates and compare it with the reference template. Now coming back to the topic fingerprint matching. You know the important thing here comes is the similarity ratio. Uh, as you can see I have opened the MATLAB 2016 version and here we can see that for fingerprint matching uh, we have implemented an algorithm uh, from where we can match uh, the different fingerprints of the same person and decide whether it belongs to that person or not. Here uh, we have used uh, the fuzzy uh, Fourier transforms as well as uh, we have implemented uh, you know bright preserving fuzzy logics for image enhancement. Now uh, first of all uh, let we say how this logic is going to perform. The on the tip of a finger the ridge patterns are called fingerprint and the uniqueness is based on the ridge pattern and certain ridge eccentricity is called minutia points. Minutia based matching depends upon the detection of these core points and accurate minutia extraction. You know sometimes errors are introduced because of missing or spurious minutia. The algorithm that we are going to show behind this fingerprint matching is further categorized into three steps and these three steps includes pre-processing, minutia extraction and post-processing. Uh, let me show you these three steps that we are going to perform. Okay friends let, let me show you these steps. Now as you can see in this file first of all uh, we are going to discuss about the pre-processing then we are going to discuss about uh, minutia extraction and then we will go for the post-processing. You know first of all let me conclude and discuss about pre-processing. You know in the pre-processing means uh, our basic aim is to extract the minutia points and these are on the uh, these are the points where either uh, we get any branches in and out of ridges. So to calculate minutia it's very important to make the image very uh, clear and clean and neat. So for this we undergo two processes either image enhancement or image binarization and in image enhancement uh, we have implemented fuzzy histogram equalization uh, because this fuzziness histogram equalization will give us the improved performance and it also uh, um, it also actually does not provide any kind of missing intensities and make the image smooth in the same way if there are some kind of uh, discontinuity in the image it can be enhanced by Fourier transform which you can see itself in the code that is fft.enhancecubs.m so this is the code that we have implemented uh, for this purpose uh, then uh, another thing is that uh, we can use image binarization for the uh, cleaning of the image so this is the first step uh, which we have concluded that is the image binarization or uh, we can say that pre-processing now we will undergo the second step that is minutia extraction you know for minutia extraction it's um, what is minutia first of all it's basically a ridge uh, bifurcation that is a point in the ridge where either uh, we uh, actually diverge or fox into that ridge uh, let me show you uh, this by an example uh, let me move to an image and we'll show you the minutia as you can see in this image these ridges th that contains a point from where uh, we can get uh, two points in a branch or just we can see any point of ridges coming into that branch this is this point is minutia and extraction of this minutia will help us in fingerprint matching now let's come back to the code uh, let's come back to the point uh, you know first step that we are going to perform is the image thinning 
for for this purpose amaze thinning in this concept we are using uh, a concept that we are removing the extra pixels of the ridge because what we actually do is that this ridges are very important for minute extraction so if any sort of uh, noises or pixels are there we have to remove that spikes noises by using morphological operations or uh, we have to remove this by image thinning then we have to mark the minutia this this will be undergone by the concept of uh, you know ridge branch or ridge end so called as cross number so you can further read this on the internet what is cross number and how it is being performed after that uh, when there is uh, we have marked the uh, minutia it's very important that we have to you know discard the spurious or delete minutia to do this uh, we have uh, we have some steps which must be followed uh, followed to remove it first is that we will calculate you know the distance between one termination and one uh, bifurcation if it is greater than the average distance among the ridges then we have to include that uh, minutia point otherwise we need to discard it in the same way if there are two terminations on the same ridge and that Uh, and the distance and the length of ridge is less than average length of the ridge then also we need to discard it so overall uh, now we are going to show you a simple uh, step uh, to perform the mismatching uh, see here if you see the 13th line we are concluding the similarity between our sample and the reference and here we have also uh, done a performance thresholding if our result is greater than the thresholding then also it would be the image of the same person fingerprint otherwise it would not be counted as a fingerprint of the same person